Hello fans of Marvel Heroes, uh, my name is Wilfred, welcome to my channel. I'm at the test center, today I'm going to show you Quick as a preview. And also I'm going to introduce the power of Quick to you, uh, be as a passive a companion or be as like the, uh, the full kind of like, uh, you know, uh, passive or a full companion. All right, so this is Quick and uh, come on man, come on here, here. All right, so now, don't they look kind of similar? I don't know, you guys let me know sort of like uh, one is well, one is shorter than the other, I think. But uh, yeah, these are uh, two shield agents, I think. They are both shield. Now, um, for, for those who are interested to unlock quick, her passive would be 300 to damage over time and also plus 150 for 8 seconds when you hit with the damage over time power. Um, my only critique is that there aren't really a lot of heroes that, has, that are full damage over time including the single spender so i'm not exactly know whether this is really good as a, as a full passive or not but in the event whereby you like to use her as a full passive uh hero a team up then i recommend the following point allocation for you um so there's one called the uh, seismic support as well as the uh, shakedown so both of them as a just a chance to activate a certain power. But more interestingly, this one depends on the trimmer's uh, damage output. So which is this one here. So you have to max this one to fully benefit when it proc, uh, which has a 30 second cooldown. And the uh, second one is that this one here would be dealing 100%, 150% of the precise strike, precision strike as well as the rack toad, which is these two here. So you have to max these two. Uh, but you cannot match this tube, so you have to spread this tube across. That, that's really simple. I mean, you know, there's really no science to it. Don't need to think too much about which one will give you better kind of like activation chance or not. But I mean, these are team up trigger. Sometimes it triggers at the right moment, sometimes not. Right? So now I'm going to reset this one and I would like to talk a little bit about uh, what kind of like a uh, power you expect her to be. All right? So now uh, this is, uh, yeah. So she does a lot of like range stuff, man. I. I thought that um, she does melee, but uh, yeah. So uh, she does a pulse, pulse wave, which is very much here. Um, you know, she reminds me of Invisible Woman, you will see why. And the, uh, so she does something called Tremor, that looks something like that. Yeah, this is the one, Tremor. So it's like uh, one of her fists, the left fist will go and shoot something. And the, uh, then you can increase the duration of Tremor as well, all right? So you can increase the aftershock uh, by, 2 percent because you no, know, you have this one and you have this one here, so you can you can you can have the duration being increased from 3.2 second to uh, 3.4 second, or you know you can increase to however much you like, you know. But then there will be a lot of like a downtime in terms of the um, this spender itself, where well, there's no spender in terms of power channeling itself. Then the second one is focus barrage, uh, which is also rather um, similar in a sense, which is uh, using both hand. So instead of using a left hand, you use both hand. I don't know. Uh, yeah, so it's just one of those things. Then you have the short wave, uh, very much like Invisible Woman's, um, you know, kind of like. So this is the short wave. So you have short wave. You have this guy here, Trumma, and you have the uh, you have the uh, barrage itself. Uh, this one you do, you you skip. Oh no, hang on. This one you put also one part, one point anyhow. All right. So this is to slow and weaken and so on. Then after that you have the uh, precision strike, which is the one here that you will see in just a moment. Um, no, not this one, not this one also. It's a precision strike. Not this one, this shit. Yeah. I, I think it's one of those things here. Yeah. Um, and then you have the uh, Rector as well after the precision strike. You know, sometimes it's really hard to tell which power is what, but it's one of those that she just wave one, one hand to it. Um, that is a precision strike. So one of those things here that you have seen, all right? So, and after that, the, uh, the last but not the least, the magnitude 10, which should disappear up in the air and come down. All right, then it just like uh, hit it. So that's it. It's a lot of like uh, range power. A lot of waves and a lot of like um, I, I, it, it is a lot of animation to be honest. I can't really tell too much about what power to what power. Uh, I get a little bit I, I get a little bit confused as well as uh, as when I see her like you know what is she doing what is she doing. So now, uh, if you so wish to use her as your companion, these are the uh, power points uh, allocation I would like to recommend to you. The highest DPS is the precision uh, strike, so which is this one here. That is the one that I would like to recommend a high kind of like um. Uh, highest one to it 
Then you have the focus barrage as well. That one is also rather nice. And the uh, then after that is the signature, which is the magnitude ten. All right. Last but not the least, list trimmers is the last one here. So with that said, done. You're you're sorted. You're you're quick. Uh, would help you deal with the best damage out there. But I, I don't know, I'm not entirely excited by the fact that uh, everything just seems so, um, yeah, so it looks the same anyhow. But, uh, but uh, I mean, if you like to use her as, uh, as, as, uh, as a companion, do make sure you get some nice, decent gear for her, like the uh, Creed chance, Brutal chance, so on, because as you look, look at all your stuff here, uh, you know, there's no chance to Creed and there's no chance to Brutal. So, do something about it. Uh, make sure you get some kind of utility as well to heal her or make her invulnerable, stuff like that. Alright, so that is the very much a quick video on Quick, and I'm going to also share with you the numbers behind it as well. Uh, for Quick, uh, there are again, this is a okay, the analysis is a little bit interesting as well because I have to start with Tremor. Then I'll start with the what if I add Aftershot into Tremor. So I max, I, I add point Aftershot, but I remain one point in Tremor itself. And the um, so all these are just an approximation and see how how the uh, extra duration may help with the DPS of the power and after that uh, the rest of it is ra rather strict for directo or whatnot uh, the signature there's nothing really fancy for on that and the, as far as the the damage is concerned DPS is concerned they're rather you know kind of like similar as well you can't really make a lot of uh, mistake here anyhow but uh, I would say the highest is precision strike then after that is the uh, focus barrage mm -hmm. and signature. Uh, but signature and trimmer is actually rather similar, so these are the one that you may like to uh, to look into it. All right, so now, um, so that is really all for 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 quick and the uh, so I hope you sort of like get some idea how she plays like and get some idea on the what kind of like a power you like to uh, you know allocate for her and do let me know uh, whether you like uh, what you're seeing, whether you like this team or not. I know there's been a lot of like quick fans. Uh, I've been following. I've been following these threats for the the longest part in history in the forum. I think there's one guy who like a very passionately designed a whole quick uh, kind of like a hero, but uh, it ended up being she ended up being a team up. So I don't know whether you guys uh, whether whether you guys. I mean, whether he or she get disappointed or not, but I think it's just the right step. But uh, who knows? Uh, she may become a hero in some future. But sounds like some something like an invisible woman power here and there. Anyhow, see you next time. Goodbye.